What's up, YouTube? What's up, you boxing maniacs? True that boxing coming at you with another one. Back with another one. So, uh, Leo Santa Cruz and Tank Davis. And before I get into it, you already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button if you already didn't. Hit that bell icon to the right. Hit all so you can get all the notifications, all the boxing content that I drop so you can be updated on the latest news because this is a boxing station. And last of all, don't forget to throw a straight and true jab, bam, right at that like button, right at that dislike button. Whatever it is, let your hands go. Either like it or you don't like it and leave a comment. All right, let's get into it. Leo Santa Cruz. And Tank Davis was supposed to fight in November. The fight has been pushed forward. So hooray, hooray for us fight fans. The fight is now October 31st. It's going to be a spooky night, y'all. It's going to be a spooky night. Tank Davis with speed and power. Leo Santa Cruz, who's re re relentless. You know, he comes with an arsenal a volume of punches you know he's um he's dangerous in the game so uh we're gonna get into it real quick so leo santa cruz y'all he's a four-time champion 39 fights 37 wins one draw one loss 19 knockouts as i said before he's a volume puncher he's coming to win He's coming to win. He's coming to win. Um, Leo Santa Cruz got a message for Tank Davis. And that message is that uh, he's been sparring guys at 145. The fight's going to take place at 130 pounds. Where Leo Santa Cruz is the 130 pound champion. Tank Davis is a 135 pound champion. I jumped the gun a little bit too fast, y'all. Okay, so let me rewind the tape a little bit. Leo Santa Cruz is a 130-pound champion. Tank Davis is a 135-pound champion. So Leo Santa Cruz called out Tank Davis. He said, you know what? Come down to 130 and fight me, and I'll beat you. Tank Davis did that. And Tank Davis said, I come down to 130 and I'm 135 pounds. I win this fight. I am pound for pound. 130, 135 pound for pound champion. You win the fight, you could be 130, 135 pound for pound champion. They both hold titles in 130, which is Leo Santa Cruz. 135, which is Tank Davis. So, Leo's sending a message to Tank Davis, said, man, I've been sparring guys at 145 pounds. I see something in your arsenal where I can beat Tank Davis. This is Leo Santa Cruz talking. He sees something in his arsenal where he can beat Tank Davis. And Leo say, I've been sparring guys at 145 pounds, taking their punches. You know, once again, Tank Davis is a power puncher and a speed puncher. He's a little mini Mike Tyson. Leo Santa Cruz, he's a bad boy. He's a bad boy, so he comes with volume a volume of punches and the boy can box. Leo Santa Cruz is a bad boy. Do your homework, do your homework. And that one loss he has against Carl Frampton, he came back and revenged that one loss too. So, he's about his business. Leo Santa Cruz is a bad boy. You don't underestimate him. And the message I got to say to Tank Davis, I hope Tank Davis can box. So, Leo Santa Cruz been sparring guys at 145 pounds, you know. And he said he's been working on his neck exercises to strengthen his neck so he can take the power and the punches from Tank Davis. Okay? So, 
Leo Santa Cruz said, uh, Tank better be ready. He noticed uh, Tank Davis is really good round one through six. He noticed uh, after the sixth round, so the seventh through the twelfth round, he say uh, Tank Davis runs out of gas, and that's when he's really going to start throwing lots and lots of more punches, violence of punches, and just coming with the aggressive assault. Like I said, Leo Santa Cruz can box. If you don't know nothing about, about Leo Santa Cruz, he's going to box you like a technician and take you out of there. He has 19 knockouts with 37 wins, you know, one loss, one draw, and that one loss, he revenged, okay, so whoever wins this fight will be a pay-per-view champion, they will be a pay-per-view star, they will be a pay-per-view star. You know, this fight will be on Showtime pay-per-view October 31st. I call it a spooky night because it's going to be a spooky night with them two fighters. It's going to be off the chain, y'all. So at any rate, Tank Davis, he replied to uh, Leo Santa Cruz and he told Leo Santa Cruz, well, I want to give props to you, Leo Santa Cruz, for calling me out. You know, and, and, and Tank said, I will come down to 135 to fight you. I will come down to 135. I mean, excuse me. I will come down to 130 from 135 to fight you. As I stated before, Tank fights at 135 and Leo Santa Cruz called him out at 130. And he said, I will come down to fight you. And, and thanks for calling me out. I appreciate that. You know, this is uh, this is Tank Davis saying this is his first time fighting on Showtime pay-per-view. This is his first pay-per-view fight. So he wants to look impressive. He wants to look very, very um, dynamic. He wants to just um, look phenomenal. He wants to be very impressive. He wants to just be on top of his game. He just wants to look good on his first pay-per-view fight. He told Leo Santa Cruz, thank you. Now I'm going to give you this opportunity to really test your skills. Um, Tank Davis clapped back at Leo Santa Cruz talking about uh, I gas out after the seventh round. I'm only good round one through six. Uh, he knocked out, you know, Tank Davis told Leo Santa Cruz I knocked out Gamboa in the 12th round. So he, he has knocked out a few people after the seventh round and been victorious in one. Uh, Tank Davis also stated that he started his training camp, training camp a lot earlier. You know, he, he went an extra month. He went an extra four weeks in the training camp to work on his conditioning. He knows that Leo is a violent puncher. Um, he throws lots of punches. And he throws them in the right spots. So Tank started training camp a little a little early. He's been working on his uh, conditioning. He also stated he has five sparring partners. And a lot of them are boxers. So he got five different sparring partners that are boxers. So he's also working on his boxing skills besides his conditioning. So Tank Davis said, thank you, Leo. I appreciate you calling me out at 135. I mean, at 130 and me coming down from 135 to fight you at 130. So whoever wins this fight is pound for pound champion at 130 at 135 because both belts are on the line. Leo Santa Cruz belt is on the line and Tank Davis's belt is on the line. So, if Leo wins the fight, a question was asked to Leo, if Leo wins the fight, what would you do, Leo? Stay at 130 or go up to 135? Leo Santa Cruz said he would campaign at 130, but if the opportunity and the money is right, he'll move up to 135 if the, if the money is right. Uh, 
uh, Tank Davis, if he won the fight, he said uh, he'll still fight at 130 and he'll move up to 135 if the money is right. So they both said they, they don't mind fighting at 130. Um, Tank Davis have been having problems in making weight in the past. Everybody's wondering about Tank Davis's weight. Is he going to be able to make weight? Is he going to come in overweight? You know, uh, hopefully not. He will be fined if so. But Tank said he's ready. He's been starting a training camp a month earlier, working on his conditioning, his boxing skills. So I'm sure he, he's, his, his weight is ready. His weight is ready. Um, it's going to be a spooky night. October 31st. Tank Davis and Leo Santa Cruz fighting for the pound for pound champion at 130 and 135 pounds. Leo Santa Cruz holds the belt at 130. Tank Davis holds it at 135. Both belts are up for grabs, so whoever wins, take all. Pound for pound champion. And Tank Davis, you want to thank Leo Santa Cruz, his sparring partners. Showtime, this is his first time on pay-per-view. Uh, he's going to give it all he has. Leo Santa Cruz, he said he's going to give it all he has. He, he really wants to win this fight because uh, his motivation is that Tank Davis also trains with Floyd Mayweather. So he said it'll be really good beating a top star from a Floyd Mayweather camp with no losses. And uh, Tank Davis is a three-time world champion with a record of 23-0 and 22 knockouts. Yeah, speed and power. That's Tank Davis. So it's going to be a real spooky night, October 31st. That's all I have for you guys. I'm on to the next. Don't forget to hit subscribe and don't forget to throw a jab up or down. You know what I mean? You got to throw, throw that punch up or down. And don't forget to subscribe, share this with your partners and all that. No boxing, no life. Deuces.